The other day, I watched a TED Talk with Natalie Merchant. Uh, she revitalized these poems by adding music and adding costuming, and she reinterpreted a lot of classical poetry. I also watched one with uh, my friend Reeves uh, doing a great uh, spoken word piece with lots of graphics on the mystery surrounding 4 a.m. You've seen that one. Amazing. So I kept thinking poetry needs to keep pushing. We need to keep going further and further in order to keep up with this generation of iPad users and texters. We need to be able to keep poetry innovative. So I think we should push to a different level. Like what if a, a poet were telling you a poem while solving the Rubik's Cube? Wouldn't that be like amazing? <laughs> I mean, well, we really don't have any Rubik's Cubes lying around now, do we? Okay, so since we have this cube, um, it, it, at this time in, in our history, it isn't so amazing to see somebody solve a Rubik's Cube, is it? You can go on YouTube, you can find somebody solving it in record time, solving it with one hand tied behind their back, solving it with their toes. So I suppose the only thing that separates uh, the average human being from someone who could solve it is putting in the time. <clears throat> Speaking of time, want to hear a poem? Yeah. It seems like I'm always wasting time. Buying time. Spending time or trying to borrow some time, but these days, time is money. I heard somebody say that money is time. The money doesn't grow on trees, but it is the root of all evil, my mother always said. People who have a lot of money seem to have all the time in the world, don't they? But money isn't everything. Time is of the essence. And essentially, in order to get more time, I gotta have lots of money. But in order to get more money, I gotta spend time. So time is the most valuable currency. I would like to share time, but I have no spare time, not even time enough to make change or change the world or change my mind. Time is running out. There's never enough time. Getting a college degree takes too much time and costs too much money, so kids do crimes and end up locked up serving time for stealing money. Doing hard time for about the same amount of money it would cost to give them a college degree, but <laughs> meanwhile, Outside the prison gates, hunger eats away at the walls of a child's stomach. Daddy worked overtime this week, but the company accountant took some well-deserved time off to get in some tea time and time with the kids. You'll get your check in due time. Meanwhile, I'm standing in the lunch line trying to find a moment to write a rhyme, and I find myself sneaking off to the men's room to steal a few minutes of my boss's time, realizing I'll probably never have enough time because when I signed that dotted line, I signed away all my free so now my time exists before nine and after five, and some nights I was there way past nine, so I never had time to spend with my friends. And though I was chasing the Benjamins, somehow I never had any ends to spend when we finally did carve out a few minutes from our busy days. And then we would simply coalesce around a common thread and coexist inside the haze, whiling away the minutes, discussing the disgusting parts of our dismal existences, punching in, punching out, serving time. Prisoners trapped inside the hourglass, choking on the sandstorm of possibilities, wishing we could all go back in time and remind ourselves to take the time to appreciate the gift of time. And right now, through all the timeouts, the time on stage, the studio time, the time and time again, bad timing, the absent-minded time spent wondering, will I get my big break this time, or should I just throw in a towel and resign and get back on my grind and talk it all up to wasted time, trying to make up for lost time? Just yesterday, y'all, I looked up in the sky and I saw a sign. Technology, education, entertainment, design. An organization dedicated with ideas in mind. And I thought, well, it's about time. <laughs>